I am greatly honoured to have taken office as Lord Chief Justice of England and Wales at the head of the professional judges and lay magistrates. I am conscious that at times of great change, the impartiality and independence of the judiciary in upholding the rule of law must remain a constant. These qualities are embedded in the oath we have taken. They are fundamental to our justice system and underpin the effective and smooth functioning of our society. I believe we must be better at explaining that. The judiciary does not stand still. We are some way into the most ambitious programme of reform of courts and tribunals in our history. This would not have been possible without the tireless leadership of my predecessor, Lord Thomas, or without the government which has committed a billion pounds to make it happen. I will pursue this bold vision of world-leading digital systems, together with procedures adapted for modern use, in buildings well suited to the work that courts and tribunals do. But our courts and tribunals could not thrive without the talents and commitment of the judges and magistrates who sit in them. The judiciary of England and Wales has earned a well-deserved reputation for being the best in the world, not only because it is impartial, independent and incorruptible, but because it has consistently recruited the finest lawyers and academics. I will work closely with the Lord Chancellor and the Chairman of the Judicial Appointments Commission to maintain that preeminence by striving to attract the best from all professional backgrounds and all sections of society. I will also work with the Lord Chancellor to ensure that judges are well supported in the important and difficult work they do with such dedication, so they in turn can fulfil their roles to their best. And while London is important, so is the rest of the country. I am looking forward to visiting courts the length and breadth of England and Wales. I want to meet all those engaged in upholding the rule of law and delivering justice to and on behalf of our fellow citizens.